salutations. Well done driving off that monstrosity Venom before he took an even bigger chunk out of our dear friend Spider-Man. Thankfully, Doctor Strange is tending to him in the barracks. At some point... See how the patient is faring? I assure you, Hunter, his injuries are minor given the circumstances, and he's convalescing quite nicely due to my expert medical care. I know you'd like to see him, but my strict doctor's orders are that he's not to be disturbed. I'm sure he would appreciate a visit tomorrow, though, after a good night's rest. I'm pleased that we were able to return the favor for Spider-Man. He's a good egg. Team Emo Kids for the win. Hunter, you need a hobby. What? Like this? No, something you can do by yourself during the bleak moments. What is your hobby? I paint nails. Your hobby is painting your nails? Now, nails. For building things, I paint pictures on the heads of silver nails. How? Very fine brushes, steady hands, and a jeweler's loop to magnify the nail head. I would like to see your collection. Oh, no, I don't keep them. Why not? I drive them into my enemies. Demons react poorly to silver nails. You might convince me to do that again. This area, it feels wrong somehow. I sense an old suffering. Members of the local coven were persecuted here. And worse. Witches? Salem's history with witches may have been distorted over the years, but some things are true. The witches of Salem did their best to thwart Shaw, but he rallied his congregation against them. The catalyst of the infamous Salem Witch Trials. When the Coven called out in distress, it was Lilith and Sarah who came to their aid. They came all the way from Transia with the Abbey to help a group they had never met? You may not believe it, but I'm sure you would have done the same. Isn't that why the sons are here today? Aside from that, your mother and Sarah both saw the signs of Cathan's influence. They knew there was more happening in Salem than the persecution of witches. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World just like the colonists themselves. And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondergore, who brought it to the Coven with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock by placing the blame squarely on the Coven. And the witches? 
The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. If this was his church, then it is possible the seal is still here, or somewhere nearby. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. Was this always here? I may have forgotten a few things, but... I feel as if I would remember a decrepit church on the grounds. You may not remember the structure, but maybe you've heard of the man responsible for it? Hiram Shaw? This was his house of worship, and like a great many things on the grounds, Sarah preferred to keep it in a sort of mystic quarantine. Even I haven't been inside. Is that all she did while I slept? Seal things off for our protection? She can be overzealous at times, but in this case, she was right to be wary. So, what dark secret does this place hold? When Hiram Shaw first came to Salem, he was little more than a charlatan posing as a preacher. He managed to convince a few desperate souls to join his congregation, and with their help he broke ground on this church. Whether it was coincidence or fate, in digging beneath the church, Shaw found something that would change the course of all of our lives. A long-forgotten page of the Darkhold. If Shaw found a page of the Darkhold, it was because Kuthan wanted it that way. I tend to agree. That cursed book is always seeking out a way to return its master to power. And a power-hungry preacher makes for the ideal messenger of darkness. Yes, Shaw was an eager study, consumed almost immediately by the whisperings of Cathan and the Darkhold's power. Nearly overnight, the people of Salem old and new were at his threshold, waiting for the word. There must not be anything here. This must be Shah's study. She believes in our purpose.
ward is not like anything I have seen on the grounds before. And yet, it's familiar somehow. Like the wards of protection that Wanda invoked to protect Doctor Strange's sanctum? Very perceptive, dear. Maybe you should approach the good doctor and see if he has any insights. And Hunter, be circumspect. Doctor Strange is no fool. Hunter? Tell me about Hiram Shaw. By all accounts, Hiram Shaw was a desperate man. Desperate for power, wealth, influence, the usual desires that cloud men's minds. As I understand it, he was a largely unsuccessful minister before his arrival at Salem, traveling from place to place, swindling whatever followers he managed to gain before being run out of town. To think that a simple man like Shaw finding a piece of the Darkhold was enough to set all of this in motion, it puts things in perspective. Until we speak again. Feeling well today, dear? What do you know about my father? That's not an easy question, dear. What would you like to know? Was he a good man? Yes, I think he was. Your mother loved him dearly, and he doted over her. I think for a time she forgot who she was, where she came from. And I don't mean that as a bad thing. She and Sarah both deserve to find something more than just another fight with C'thon. Lilith did. Sarah didn't. At least, not for a while longer still. I honestly think that's the only thing she ever had against him, blood or not. Did Wanda ever make it to this place? I suspect she did. But if she discovered something, she didn't tell me. Goodbye, for now. How long did the Salem witches hide here before meeting their end? Agatha, what is this? The corrupted influence of the Elder God C'thon. But we won't be able to heal the Abbey Grounds until we've recovered the Moon Seal, stolen by Hiram Shaw. Remind me about the seal? I think you've gotten ahead of yourself, dear. You'll need to find the Moon Seal first. A trial awaits you. Show me the way. Oster smiles upon me. If I remember correctly, this is the grave of Will Walker, a notoriously vicious but effective vampire hunter. Blade would have liked him. Blessings of the Goddess.
Agatha's house. That is something. Autumn thinks otherwise. I should have known you'd wind up here eventually. You were somehow always here as a child. If only I had known him. And still you masked even this from me. My own father's grave? It wasn't you I was hiding it from. I've been making a lot of apologies to you lately. Now, they probably don't mean that much. But I am sorry, Hunter. Lilith's relationship with your father went against our ways, our purpose, or so I believed at the time. It was the Elder Gods themselves who first breathed life into us. Human notions like falling in love couldn't possibly be part of their plan. And then you met Agatha. If only I'd realized it sooner. I might have been a little kinder towards him, especially at the end. What happened? A great sickness came upon this area just before you were born. Your father was one of the first to fall. With all your power, the two of you, you could not save him? Lilith was a gifted healer, but this was no ordinary plague. The corruption went beyond his physical body. In the end, there was nothing we could do. What did Lilith do? She did what anyone would have done. She grieved. But in her grief, she lost herself, and her grief turned into anger. Is that when you took me from her? It wasn't long after that. Things started to fall apart before my eyes. I couldn't see another way out but to run. The plague that turned her into the mother of demons? No, this was something else, but cut from the same cloth. Your mother was no longer the woman I knew. The sister I had fought alongside for centuries. She was gone. I have never heard you talk this way before, Sarah. It's hard to walk the grounds here without churning up so many old memories. Maybe now you understand why I don't venture out here that often anymore. You were not affected by the plague? We were all affected whether we were among the sick or not. 
I'm sure there was a time when your mother and I both would have just as soon joined the dead than continued to watch the villagers suffer. I cannot imagine you ever reaching that point. Lilith may have been the most skilled herbalist in the New World. I saw her perform near miracles with the potions she concocted from the plants in her garden. She was consumed by the idea of finding a cure. But she never found one. No, despite her efforts, nothing ever worked. I can see how that would be a dark time for both of you. With darker times still to come. Thank you, Sarah. Your timing may need work, but I appreciate the honesty. Anything for you, Hunter. Anything. If only it were always this easy to bring a family together. Tell me about my father. Believe it or not, you can thank your father for those good looks of yours. There is a striking resemblance. I only have the faintest memory of him. What was he like? He was honest. A working man, you could say. Authentic. Of course, I still didn't like him. But that wasn't really his fault. I'm old enough to admit that now. But he loved my mother? He loved her, and she was smitten with him. As the story goes, they were happy together. For a time. Until I came along? You were an unexpected gift, but a welcome one. Your father was very proud. <sighs> I wish I could talk with him now. I know that feeling all too well, kiddo. Autumn reveals all. did not work. It's always good to see you. Is that meant to be an offering bowl on the altar? Interesting magic, isn't it? Were you able to make it work? Yes. It responded to my voice. Excellent, my dear. You always exceed expectations. Try using different combinations of words and offerings. You never know what you might get. Something on your mind? I have heard that Wanda's power comes from Cuthon. The way I understand it, as a child, Wanda and her family lived in Transia, not far from Mount Wondagore. 
Within that mountain, the Dark God Cthon had long been imprisoned, his corruptive influence an ongoing threat to the people of Transia. And Wanda was affected? Whether Cthon reached out to Wanda, or he found her by chance, I can't say. But Wanda was blessed or cursed by Cthon, touched by the power of chaos magic. While he had hoped to make her some sort of acolyte, she proved to be more capable than even he foresaw. What can you tell me about Cthon? One of the first Elder Gods, Cthon is said to have existed for tens of millions of years, well before the dawn of humanity on Earth. Believe it or not, he wasn't always the bastion of evil that we know today. This story sounds familiar. As the legend goes, the downfall of the Old Gods was actually brought upon by Cthon's brother Set, who found that by consuming his siblings, he could gain their power. After Set consumed Hypus, Cthon followed suit with the others, and in this way, many of the first gods also became the first demons. And how did he come to be imprisoned on Earth? In the same way Hydra has worked to restore Lilith, various cultists of the past sought to revive Cthon to wield his power. When Cthon failed to cooperate, these same cultists did the only thing they could. They locked him away again. What do you know about Transia? Transia is your ancestral homeland, Hunter. The birthplace of Lilith and Caretaker. It has always been a sort of magical junction, drawing in every type of occultist, sorcerer, and even the occasional Elder God. The Abbey Grounds still behave in much the same way, even after all this time. And Wondagore? Wondagore Mountain has always played a prominent role in whatever scheme was underway. Cthon himself is said to have created the Darkhold, deep within the caverns of the mountain. What was Caretaker like when she was younger? I'm sure it's difficult to remember now, but Sarah wasn't always the steadfast contrarian. In our younger days, she was much more enthusiastic about dashing off to save the day, not unlike some of our younger allies among the Suns. That does not sound like the caretaker we know and love. Keep in mind, Hunter, Sarah has faced a great deal of loss in her time here. Everyone she ever cared about, in fact. I would say she's earned the right to be disagreeable, at the very least. But she is a very strong woman. I'm not sure I would have held up as well, given the same circumstances. Who were the Knights of Wondagore? Another mysterious group of heroes in a world full of mysterious groups. Of course, I'm no expert on transient history. I do know that the Knights of Wondergore were formed as a response to the growing threat of Cthon's influence near the mountain. What exactly did they do? Hydra was hardly the first to dabble in Cthonic schemes. Many have tried and failed to awaken the Dark God. Over the centuries, the Knights fought alongside a number of allies who stood against the various crazed worshippers of Cthon. You were there? At the Witch Trials? Not initially, no. If I had been, I like to think I could have stopped them before it was too late. I sensed something was wrong, and when the Witches cried out in distress, I came to Salem as quickly as I could. But Shah had already committed his crimes against them? Yes. It was a devastating discovery. And for the longest time, I blamed myself. But you see now it was not your fault. I've come to understand that we must accept the past and move on. But that doesn't mean I won't always carry that pain with me. I know that feeling all too well. I know. And I wish you didn't, dear. 
I really do. 